Hi, Sarah from The Upcoming, so lovely to meet you all. Tim Burton, such a visionary director. What do you think sets him apart and what do you think he's brought to this remake of Dumbo? Well, he started his career as an animator and what he brought to this is the beauty of Dumbo and the animals and, and how you take a CG creature and animate it into such a way that it's a little beyond reality but in so much form of reality and shows emotion and heart and love and that's what he brings to this yeah. film. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I love that he does too is he's able to take a reality and make it kind of holistically his and then make it a little bit more enchanted than the real world. And this is a movie that takes place in 1919 in the real world, but it's as Tim Burton sees the real world. And I think that that brings this sort of enchanted fairy tale like quality to a really grounded reality. He's done that in many of his movies over the last 20 or 30 years. And I think to see how he's done that in Dumbo is really special. I guess the common thread might be the outcast and, and you know, seeing like how we can celebrate the outsider and having belief in yourself in some respect. In a way, every one of the characters, even Vanderveer, he's, he's his own kind of outcast. So they all occupy that space, but they come at it from different angles. And, and kind of Dumbo and the relationship with, you know, the children is kind of where everything kind of centers around. So, uh, yeah, it's interesting because I think a lot of Tim's films, maybe there'll be one outsider, like one central outsider. Really, this film occupies you know, each one of those roles occupies that, yeah. I think it's a universal tale. I think it's something that, uh, you know, they're asking why now, and it's, yeah. it's a universal tale. It's something that, uh, it's about family and, and about love, and it's about being an outsider, and those are things that don't really change with age. You watch the movie from 1941, and those things are still very much true. But bringing it into a, you know, a new era with the technology, we're able to create it in live action and make the elephant look really believable and amazing. Yeah. So. There weren't any setbacks. Great. <laughs> That's good. No, it, was, it was always a movement forward. What was great is that we had a big live, a big cast in the movie yeah. so that we, when we were making the film, we were on these big sets that had been you know, fully created so we knew what the film was going to look like to a large degree and you had all these wonderful actors who were performing and you could tell that that was working so there was always this Dumbo question and how was that going to work but we also had Tim Burton at the helm who has a lot of experience uh, in you know in movie making but also in animation and bringing characters to life so there was a lot of confidence that it, we'd be able to pull that off hopefully we did and the actors were always in a real environment because there was enough set around them everywhere that they were in the real world and always reacting to a Dumbo for many many we had yeah. what's called a Dumbo kit and it was a from Ed Osmond who we called Ant-Man because he'd have the eyes for them to look at to actual big suits so they know physically where to put a hand or so there was always a Dumbo there. Oh, well, well you've seen it right? So <laughs> I mean it, it's a it's a grand film and the sets are huge and it's it's a spectacle it's like going to experience a live show in a, yeah. in a way and yeah. it, that's the thing that I'm astounded when I see it now it, it you really feel like you're watching I don't know like a big Vegas show or something but you see many different shows throughout the course and they they kind of build in scale and intensity and enjoyment with each one so I don't know I just feel like it's kind of like the ultimate film going experience when these days that's harder and harder to kind of find and there's a flying elephant so <laughs> yeah. the best way to see that's and on the biggest screen possible and in 3D you'll really see him yeah. soar yeah well well again you know Tim Burton is a champion for the outsider and you know, Dumbo's kind of a character in the original, and this one is kind of bullied by others, and that's something that's, you know, on our minds these days, but it shows you, uh, if, if you feel like you don't belong, if you have people that are treating you that way, there's always people there that, you know, you can kind of, you know, get together with and help you through and find a way. You know, family takes many different kind of forms, and uh, in this one, it's kind of like this uh, circus family who unites to help. Dumbo be reunited and, uh, and it is and about the family. family. Yeah. It's all about family getting back together, coming across hardships and and loss and, and how they then come together and pull together as a community and as a family to prevail. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of the characters are a lot of the actors are people Tim has worked with before, so in a way they are part of his family in a way. And and even some of the like Colin, we had never worked with Colin before, but I feel like he's always been part of that family. They just kind of really clicked and, and gelled. And uh, they just bring a unique spirit. And I think in a lot of Tim's films, the characters, he creates kind of iconic characters and they're on the same level as Dumbo in a way. You know, you know, from Van Devere to Medici, uh, to Colette, to Holt, they're all very kind of iconic, strong characters that, that these actors occupy.